I think I may have cheated. This doesn't break timing rules. So actually, uh, sorry, but uh, I think we lose. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Today we have a game full of twists and turns. I am Burklamor, and for this Sylvan Scholars game, we have Trenton, Paladin, Silvala, Heart of the Wilds, Justin bringing Tibbet a lot of secrets, a super special guest, Priscilla, showcasing her signature deck, Minsk Kambu. As for me, I am playing good old Blue Farm. Well, get ready, class is about to start. Any pregame actions? I'll draw for turn. That's an ancient tomb. That's the Sol Ring, the Mana Vault. Let's get Metal Craft with a Jewel Lotus. We'll start things off with a Forest, a Soul Ring, cast a Chrome Mox. And if that resolves, I'd like to imprint this Dryad Arbor. And I don't think I can do because he has to be non land. <laughs> Well, in that case, uh, this is, this feels kind of bad, but I'll pitch an endurance to it. Pass the turn from there. Play a morphic pool, cast a mox diamond, so pitch a silent clearing to the ETB. Then I will tap these for arcane signet. Draw for turn. Scalding tarn, which I will crack. I'm losing one life. Let's go get ourselves a little little taiga action. Cast a mana crypt. Pass the turn there. I'll tap and then I'll draw Tundra as land for turn. And cast a Sarah Ascendant. Nothing else. I'll move to my step and pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I would like to cast Selvala. Land for the turn will be a Gaia's Cradle. Uh, a sheltering ancient. I am ready to lose the Tivit. Pass the turn. An exotic orchard for turn. Lavinia, Azorius Renegade. Oh, now I hate you. No response. Wait, you hate me? I figured two people at this table would hate me. I didn't think you were in that group. You gotta you gotta remember, there's a lot of my non-creature spells do cost more than I guess that's true. You really can't finale. Like, you have no idea the gas that's in my hand right now, but now I can't <laughs> use it. I'll roll for crypt. Odds is ouchies. It's a two. And I will draw for turn. Stomping ground. Walking ballista where X equals two. I'll pass the turn. What am I going to do with just two lands now? My dear um, Esper player. Uh, Sir Ascendant is gonna yeah, that's, fly at that's you. That's entirely fair. With that, I have not nothing else to do, so I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Play this Verisad Dryad Arbor. Isn't there a sheltering ancient trigger in... Oh, yes. Sorry about that. As much as I hate to do this, I'll put it on Sarah Ascendant. Yeah. And then I will happily hit Bear in the face for five. Which <laughs> I will pass the turn. I'm going to crack this flooded strand. Get underground sea off the flooded strand. Tap for Urza, Lord High Artificer. At your end step, Justin, we will blast a Lavinia. Untap at my upkeep. Odds uh, is ouchy still. And draw for turn. City of Traitors is my land for turn. Oh no. I will cast a Dockside Extortionist. Fuck. ETB I make, is it eight? Is that the right count? Invasion of Ikoria, where X equals four. Uh, I'm gonna get Ooh, this Mangle Horn. Horn. ETB on the stack, I'm gonna target a Jeweled Lotus. In response to that, I'm gonna crack my own Jeweled Lotus for three red. Oh, I have to give this to somebody. Um. Uh, Bear, you can protect the invasion of my Coria. I will do my best. I'm going to also then spend three of my treasures, leaving one up for a Magus of the Moon. I would like to float three off of Cradle. Then I have no further game actions and I will pass the turn. 
Before I lose this mana, oh yeah, I will sink one into Silvala and float five, going up to seven floating. Cast a Momentous Fall, sacrificing the Sheltering Ancient as an additional cost. I'd like to draw five cards, gain I'm five gonna, life. I'm going to tap my Construct to Flusterstorm this. I can well, pay for I'm four wrong, of the Flusterstorm cards. Really, really good. <laughs> We're moving into Scylla's combat. I will go to my end step and pass to Bear. I will tap, draw. Please be a mountain. I think I'm just going to play this mountain or a Wara. I'm going to send it. I'll but. send it your way, Scylla. I think it's going to be the fastest way to get rid of the Magus. <laughs> Nothing else with my whole bunch of mountains here. I'll pass. Untap. Upkeep and draw. I will go to combat hit bear for three. Taking three. Plus two commander. That is all I've got. I'll ship it. Cast Tivit, tapping all of my mana sources. I would like to vote for one treasure, one clue. I vote treasure. Treasure for me as well. Well, officially put in my ballot on treasure. Pass the turn. Let's uh, cast this Ewit off the top. A ETB targeting Oxide in my grave. We will float a colorless get, get with our mana crypt. Or whatever. And that I will recast the dock side. So that is four, 14? No, 12. 12. 12. I'm going to shatter skull smashing uh, where X equals six. Uh, targeting the Sarah ascendant, Tivit and Sarah ascendant. I have a response to your thing I'm alive i think i'm gonna tap my mountain and a soul ring for a deflecting swat i'm gonna hit it has to be the magus i think and tivit and tivit yeah let's use the remainder of our treasures for a minskin boo i would like to move to combat attacking with boo and the beast oh. going at the battle and with all of that and no cards in hand, I will be passing my turn. I will draw for turn. A white from uh, Tundra. I'm going to cast an S percent now. I'll move to combat. <laughs> the second deck I have, I'm most afraid of is Tivit, so Tivit. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Second main and end step and pass. Okie dokie. Untap. Upkeep, come on, my grandpa's deck has no worthless cards. <laughs> love to be proven wrong. I'll play a forest and pass. I was just going to say basic forest. <laughs> uh, I'll swing three at oh. bear, I guess. What? And that's all I got. Go ahead. Tap all of my game objects. Play a command tower. Tap four treasures for four blue mana. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Tivit on the stack. Two clues this time. I assume three more treasures. I think that's still the right call for sure. Treasure, yeah. I agree, for what it's worth. I have a lot of mana. Tap my clue, and I'm going to cast Sensei's Divining Top. That's be percentile. Tapped. If I may, I think you, you, you're better off paying for uh, Divining Top's activation. Uh, you're right, actually. That's a fair point. I can pay for top and then crack a clue, which is maybe better than either thing. All right, I'm sold. I You can draw. Then I will pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. I would like to go to combat. Boo, the beast, and Zilortha going at bear. Yeah. 15 it is. I'll, I'll go down to 35. 32. Oh, yeah. From 47. 47. Yeah, that's true. I would like to activate Minskin Boo's minus two. I'm actually going to target my own Minskin Boo. And uh, I will draw four cards. Pay one red. We are going to gamble. I'm going to pay two life to Mental Misstep. Instead of paying two, I'll, I'll tap this for blue. I will pass the turn. <laughs> draw for turn. It's called in turn as land for turn. I'd like to pay a life and crack it. I think Badlands is the right choice. 
Her same team now with uh, one floating, one colorless floating. I'd like to move to combat. Sarah Sandand at um, Scylla and Timna at Trenton. Timna no, doesn't Timna have haste. Go. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Then it has to be Esper. I always want to give yeah. Timna haste. I take one from the Esper. Gonna pay for the Esper Sentinel on this just ahead of time, but I'm gonna rending volley Timna. Deals four damage to target white or blue creature. Uh, that's gonna resolve, no effects. Sweet. And then Bye -bye, I, I declare no blockers and I'll take seven in my mouth for that. Pass the turn. <laughs> All right. I will untap, upkeep. Come on, Grandpa Yugi. Tap Dryad Arbor and two Ass and Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing the Arbor. I am just going to grab Collector Oof. We'll throw a greater good on the stack while I'm Oh, that's terrifying. That is all I've got. I will pass the turn <laughs> after Bear takes two commander damage. Dang it. So much untap. What a surprise. I will play this Bloodstained Mire. i tap two treasures using Urza. I'm going to channel Odawara and bounce the oof. Okay, well, oof to hand. I'm nowhere near deterministic for what it's worth. Uh, I'm gonna crack oh, my blood. Oh, he says as he. I, as he yeah, says, I think I think I've heard that a couple I'm of times. To attempt to win, <laughs> but I need to be able to draw cards to do it. Uh, there it is. No, okay, good. Scrubland. All right, I will tap one more treasure. Look at the top three with top. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess moving to combat. I'm gonna send Tivit and the construct at bear. I can't. I just can't make it make sense to not send it at bear. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. I will untap. And whoever said that commander damage isn't a, a real thing or that combat damage isn't a real thing in CEDH. True. I lost my crypt roll, so I took the three and then I will draw for turn. Ooh. That's not supposed to be in this deck anymore. Um. That means I'm missing a card that is probably part of a, an important thing. Uh, that's OK. Uh, uh oh. Uh, how many cards are in people's hands? Two. One. So one, two and two. Is it Wheel of Fortune? No, oh, I would love a wheel right now. That'd be so hot. Yo, uh, wheel would be no joke. Incredible. I would like to cast this twin flame and striving it targeting my eternal witness and my dock side and i will use the one floating mana to pay for the esper sentinel i'm gonna tap four treasures two clues and a scrub land for seven mana okay. flash in hullbreaker horror then i'm going to pay five mana and activate Urza. Uh, yeah, I'm going to crack one clue. Holding priority. Drawing this card. Shuffle for Urza. That have known cards. So this might not work, but I'm trying to keep you off dock side. Oh, wow. Uh, Wish Claw Talisman. That comes in tap, doesn't it? It does. I don't think that matters. Um, I guess it's not mana, but yeah. it's also not my turn, so I can't use it. Um, wait, ah, shit. <laughs> oh, this sucks. I think if no one has anything, I think this is game, right? Because the way this works is even if I bounce something, it still targets it. And since it's not countered, it would still see it. Actually, wait. Let me think. Yep. I'm going to pull up Twin Flame. Everything I'm thinking about <laughs> has weird. Been like doesn't a work. Yeah. A bunch of rules things. Yeah. At CDH, folks. OK, yeah. yeah. If all the spells targets are illegal when the spell tries to resolve, it won't resolve and none of its effects will happen. 
If one or more of its targets are legal when it tries to resolve, the effect will resolve and affect only those legal targets. It will have no ah, effect okay. on any illegal targets. Okay, sweet. So I can bounce the dock side and you will not get a copy of dock side. Okay. So dock side back to hand. Yep. And then twin flame Think. still resolve and make a copy. Targeting EWIT. Yeah, targeting EWIT. You know what sucks? Interesting. It, if I hadn't paid for Esper Sentinel, I I I still get there. Oh, wild. Yeah, because you could just play the dock side and do it all again because you definitely have a land. You, you, get, you get 18 mana from me. Yeah. <laughs> it's another yeah. game where uh, if I had just not paid my taxes, I would have won. Yeah, I don't have any mana left, so I think in general it's better just to add the twin flame back off of the EWIT. Go to combat then. The Eternal Witnesses and the Beast. Uh, actually, just the, the copy Eternal Witness. We'll leave the other one up. Um, so five damage going at bear. I will proceed to my instep. The other one will does it get sacrificed, I think. Uh, exiled. It gets exiled and I will pass the turn. I'll untap. I'll draw for turn. I think I may have cheated. I think oh. Scylla wins that game. Oh, wait, how? This doesn't break timing rules. So actually, uh, sorry, but uh, I think we lose. We, we rewind effect on. I'm the sure Scylla doesn't mind, but <laughs> I do not mind at all. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to explain it like in words on how this this? Oh, yes, please do. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So hold on, I'll, I'll move the cards around pretty much like I had done striving the twin flame. So it makes a copy of each of these. Uh, I would then, you know, after that resolves, there will be two ETBs on the stack for the copies of Dockside and Eternal Witness. I would, I guess it technically doesn't really matter which order you resolve it in, but Dockside would make uh, in this right now, like a quadrillion treasure. Uh, and then the EWIT would actually add back the Twin Flame to my hand because like the spell had resolved and everything. Um, and then now I have enough treasures to repeat that, which would then make me infinite Eternal Witnesses, Infinite Dock Sides will all have haste, and then I would be able to just attack and win the game. Alternatively, I also have infinite mana if I did want to go the like Minsk route of just drawing until I hit a different combo. But you, yeah, I didn't go to combat yet this turn. I also just oh. have Walking Ballista in the yard. Oh, there you go. That so, would that would have for sure. Yeah, I could have just added On like board. after all of that, add it back to my hand and then just Ah, shoot it. <laughs> well, that was it. If you enjoyed this game, please hit that subscribe button. A single click goes a long way. And remember, be fair, be kind, and have fun. Good games, and see you next time.